Welcome to BCU News. I am Hemant M. Today's headlines. Manage pressure. Eat healthy. BCU grads told at convocation. News in detail. Dr. C. N. Manjunath, Director of Jaideva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences, said that Indian universities are far behind compared with those in other countries in terms of funding for research work. He was delivering the convocation address at second convocation of Bengaluru City University on Monday. If there is no research activity, then there will be no scope for progress and learning will be stagnant, he said. He pointed out that several universities in the state are poor in research because of lack of funds. Both the state and university grants commission should make it mandatory for universities to spend on research activities. Advising students to focus on health and practice a healthy lifestyle, Dr. Manjunath mentioned that at least 30% of people within 40 years are suffering from cardiac related issues. The pressure begins right from kindergarten. Because of the pressure, children are not eating properly, he said. I think the younger generation are under tremendous stress today because they want to achieve too many things in a too short time. And you look at our education system. Today, all young youths in the age group and middle-aged in the age group of 20 to 40 are uh, vulnerable to various lifestyle diseases. They are coming with high blood pressure, coming with diabetes, coming with heart attack, coming with the stroke. So I think uh, today the children education has become mother's examination. He said it is important to manage blood pressure, cholesterol and obesity. He advised students to utilize the facilities provided by the government under the UNED Unemployment Allowance Scheme. And of course, uh, the present government has announced some incentives for the fresh, uh, fresh graduates, 3,000 rupees for uh, fresh graduates and 1,500 rupees for a diploma. Use this money, use this money for upskilling or for coaching classes or getting a coach for various competitive examination. Don't use this money uh, somewhere in the malls or an anywhere. So uh, you can use this money for skill training and for coaching classes. One should not bother about failure. Many top officers, many great achievers, many, many inventors, many innovators have uh, failed. Uh, particularly in a competitive examination, attempts ma doesn't matter at all. Ultimately, it's the goal there we have to reach. During the convocation, the university conferred honorary doctorates to Nisa Rahmat, a Chancellor of Presidency University, Uday P. Krishna, President of Karnataka Gandhi Smarak Nidhi, and Tarini Chidanan, writer and daughter of Kuwempo. As many as 35,911 students received degrees during the convocation of which 29,914 were undergraduate and 5,997 postgraduate where 60% of them are women. 51 gold medals have been conferred to as many of 38 students in total. MA Samoa Samoana, Patrikodama, Ashita Shri Art, Achara Institute of Graduate Studies, Vishavityan, Chinna the Padaka, Matto, Nagada Bowman. Governor and Honorable Chancellor of the University, Sri Tavarchan Gehalo and BCU Vice Chancellor Lingaraju Gandhi were present. Miss Ashita Shri, the gold medalist and first rank holder in mass communication and journalism department from Acharya College shared her joy and also her thoughts about the discipline with BCU News.
Manage pressure. Eat healthy. BCU grads told at convocation. This is the news of the heart. For more such news, stay tuned. Thank you.